Hey, my name is Andre Leroux. I'm a Brooklyn-based photographer, and today I'm going to tell you about my trip to Alaska and some things I learned, whether it was what I was photographing or how I edited to like try to take in a place where the sun never set. This is actually one of my favorite images from the trip. Um, when we stopped at Fort Yukon, we got to speak to some of the Gwich'in people and learn about what they were doing, what their life is like. And so I really like this image. It was a portrait of a man on Father's Day. He was just chopping some wood and getting some things ready for his family for dinner. His wife was cooking a meal with a bunch of different <laughs> meats and stuff. And he was a really warm-hearted guy. But I liked keeping him in this environment that he was in with fire in the background and axe in the foreground. So if you can see this initial edit, it's pretty flat. And if you look really closely, the red on this axe and the fire, when the edit is finished, is a little bit more vibrant. So I really try to focus on that and warm it up. So I'm just gonna show you a couple of things I did. First, let's go back to import. You're gonna see here, I brighten the image up a little bit to try to just give us a little bit more light on him, which I know seems a little drastic now, but we're bringing his, him up, but we can go ahead and bring these highlights down just a touch, right? So now we have an image that's like a little bit flatter, but there's like room to play. Also brought the shadows up a little bit because I really wanted it you just see everything that was going on. Then from there, um, I went over to the color. And this is actually a key part of how I like to work on things. So I talked to you guys a lot about the colors we're looking at. I'm talking about the reds. You see when you come over a little bit, adding just a little bit of hue to this red. And like, if you see the hue, you'll notice right here, it's starting to change slightly. So it's a little faded. I want to give it a little bit closer to red on the warm side. Bring the saturation down just a little bit. And leave the luminance how it is. The next thing I want to do is kind of add some clarity. I do love how clarity gives a little bit of punch without taking a lot away. And lastly, I'm going to add a little bit of grain in. So now we have the base of our image. But it still doesn't look all the way there, right? But you're seeing how we get to this point that starts to look a lot more similar to what we had before. It's 11 o'clock, allegedly. Look how bright it is out here. This is madness. It's also very beautiful. So this is actually one of my favorite images. I know I say that, or I said it before, but this one's really special to me. It was our last night um, at camp, and we decided we wanted to try and cross the Hula Hula River. Crazy, I know. I went from not camping ever to seeing bears, like being in a trench, and uh, <laughs> try to cross the Hula Hula. But it was super fun. So I wanna talk about curves here, but before I do anything else, this is our original edit. You see there's like some good de detail in the water right here. Um, and I really wanna talk about how Nathan's, uh, 
a darker skinned dude and you want to make sure that you can still see some of his face here. You can see the detail on his ear, you can see the difference between his skin and his hair. So let's go over here on the right and hit reset. Go to reset to all. We'll see the original image. So the next thing I want to bring up is we often find this urge to darken sunset images so we can get this nice sunset color. But I think in making overly silhouetting our images or overly darkening them, we lose a lot of the detail and what's important, which in this case is what's right before us. So let's start by actually lighting this image up a little bit. Get a toy where we want it. Let's bring our contrast up a little because I want to brighten it up enough that we can see Nathan's face, but not so much that we really lose the image. One of the con consequences of brightening it is all the highlights get a little bit brighter, and in a sunset, um, sunset situation, sometimes you lose some of that color that you get reflected on the water and things like that. So you can control that a little bit, or I like to, by bringing our highlights down. So, so far we've just done our first three um, light edit features, sliders. Do some similar things, bring the shadows up a little bit, uh, bring our whites down, and our blacks up, right? But, actually let me just bring this clarity over it. The thing I wanted to show you was this curve. Often we don't touch this because it looks a little concerning and confusing, but I wanted to explain this bottom left corner um, with a line in it, obviously, impacts the darkest part of the image and the top right corner impacts the lightest part of the image so the lightest part if you we put a dot up here and change it you'll see how it's changing these bright parts up here where the sun is and all this stuff but you can get a really nice s curve which gives you like nice contrast if you just put a point in the lightest part and a point in the darkest part you pull now this is a little bit darker than the image we originally set so let's say we, do, we don't like this Bring this S up a little bit more. And let's bring this dark side up just a touch. So then, we're looking at a difference between this and this. Much more dynamic. And we're getting that detail in the water that I was talking about earlier. Last touch for me, adding in just a touch of pink in the tint to just give it that sunset look. If I was continuing to edit this, I would have also added um, a little bit of color to this jacket. And we can you can do that just like I showed you by going over this mixer tool and playing with the oranges and the yellows.